So, let's just get straight to the point. It's not what we were expecting. Yeah. So we're in a little bit of an odd situation. We've been sitting here debating on whether or not we should record, what we want to record, and what the heck we're doing with our lives. To explain, we've been in San Pedro, La Laguna, um, a little town of uh, Lake Atitalan for two and a half days now. Let's just say it wasn't exactly what we were expecting. Yeah, it's a beautiful place and like this is no doubt not only one of the most beautiful areas in Guatemala, but probably in the world. But we are not big partiers. Mm -hmm. We like going to places, for example, Guatemala City or Antigua, and trying to fit in with local culture. But it feels like the tourist backpacker culture has taken over the culture here. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we're looked at as, as just tourists and not like people who are trying to understand the culture. And I, I personally really don't enjoy that kind of vibe. Like I feel like the locals here are very annoyed with tourists, which is completely normal. And I totally understand, but I don't. Like it makes me feel uncomfortable. This really wasn't what we were expecting, and it's just diff it's it's just difficult. This Airbnb is a, it's a little intrusive. We don't even have curtains. We do, but they're see-through. And next to the kitchen, so everyone can see it. Um, but we wanted to do a San Pedro video, and we're basically just gonna show you around. Yeah, we're gonna try to show you around the town. We're gonna try to upload a video and then we actually have one thing planned for today And that is a two-hour Spanish class with a guy we met on the street So one of the pros about our Airbnb is that we are actually right next to the beach of the lake And we have a beautiful view as well. So that's that's one great thing about our Airbnb <laughs> Yeah, we never really wrapped up our Akatenango vlog, but my legs are still sore and it's been like three or four days later, so just a heads up. <laughs> I will say this view is so incredibly stunning. This is a really good place to just come and relax mm -hmm. and it's a good place to do nothing. Yeah, it's a great place to do nothing. <laughs> like we said, we are in San Pedro La Laguna and we got here by taking a shuttle from Antigua, hopping on a boat in Punta de Chel, and taking that for 45 minutes all the way here to San Pedro La Laguna and then we took a tuk-tuk to our Airbnb. Tuk-tuk costed us 75 quetzales for both people and I know Guatemalans are going to cringe when they hear that because that is ridiculously expensive. We got ripped off bad and it was definitely our fault. Uh, yeah, it was our fault for letting it happen. Uh, I tried to fight him and I got a little upset but I don't know. What do you do, run? I don't know. What do you do in those situations? Anyways, that's end of my side note. So San Pedro La Laguna is inhabited by about 15,000 people and 90% of the population here is, I'm gonna butcher this, but it's Zumu Hill. And that is the uh, native Mayan group here in San Pedro La Laguna. And as you can see behind me is the beautiful Lake Atitlan. So it's one of the deepest, well, actually it's the deepest lake in Central America. Also don't quote us on this, but some say that it's more beautiful than Lake Como in Italy, which we haven't been there, so we don't know. <laughs> Who knows? So what you'll notice when you enter San Pedro La Laguna is that there's beautiful art everywhere. It's a very wonderful place to go as an artist. It's very busy. There's tuk-tuks and motorcycles and just everyone's in everyone's way. <laughs> and you'll see food from all different cultures. There's so many different restaurants and bars of all different types. It seems that there's a very strong Israeli influence here and we have yet to know why. Um, but we've seen, even in Guatemala City, Israeli flags flying alongside the Guatemalan flags. So it's pretty interesting. But we have been on a two-day hunt to find good enough Wi-Fi to upload our very first Guatemala City vlog. So we're gonna go do that now. We're gonna go try to try to find somewhere good enough. Well, I just realized the place we wanted to go to doesn't have plugs and we're both like drastically low on battery, so. <laughs> Now we have to find a new spot. Oh well. Honestly, after getting a lot of the like negative emotion out, we're feeling much, much better. Yes. We're gonna try to take this, just make it what we can. I mean, we also, we're not gonna be staying at this one place the whole time, so that's another thing we have to look forward to. Yes. All right, we're gonna try this one place and see if they have outlets. If they don't have outlets, then we're gonna go somewhere else. We 
came to the place that we wanted to come because we thought it would have good Wi-Fi, and it's been at, ah, just went to 1%, but I've been waiting here for about eight or nine minutes, so it's gonna be tough. I don't really know how we're gonna upload here. We're at 4%, and it has been, I'd say like 45 minutes. <laughs> So, and also we've been here for 45 minutes and not a single person has come up to ask for our order. I'm asking Andrew to go order. <laughs> but downstairs in order because I really don't want to. <laughs> Best boyfriend in the world. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Update. We ate. We ate, got 4% of the blog uploaded and then I canceled it because I'm sick of it. And now we gotta go to Spanish class. So let's go. So, we're cutting it really close. We have a Spanish lesson in five minutes and we decided to get ice cream. Now we're walking up this giant hill. So we met a guy yesterday who offered Spanish lessons and we liked him and we thought we'd go for it. So we're on the way, let's go meet him. Chicos, ok, voy a poner aquí, creer, creyendo, leer, leyendo, oír, oyendo, dormir, durmiendo, ah, durmiendo, es irregular, dice, durmiendo, durmiendo, sí. morir, muriendo, excelente, ah. morir, muriendo. So we just got done with class and we're walking back to our Airbnb and that was so much fun. Our teacher, Isaias, was really great. We went over a bunch of verb conjugations that we are unfamiliar with as well as slang, local slang. So it was really fun to talk about and learn a little bit more. So we highly recommend them if you're looking for a Spanish teacher while your time in San Pedro. And he really did redeem the day. He made it a lot better for us. So thank you, Isaias. And yeah, let's head on back home. Thank you.